Welcome to the Welland Museum of Art at Hamilton College. I'm Tracy Adler, the director of the Welland Museum, and I'm very pleased to introduce you to Yun Feiji, The Intimate Universe. Uh, this exhibition brings together 10 years of work by Yun Feiji, who is a Beijing-born artist. Um, the scrolls and paintings in the exhibition focus on themes of displacement and migration, and they explore subjects that are relevant to our contemporary life. The Village and Its Ghosts is the largest scroll that the artist has ever attempted to create at over 60 feet long. And it begins with a village in crisis that moves towards dislocation, disassociation, and then ultimately into the realm of the surreal where the landscape is inhabited by these ghosts and these kind of folkloric figures and ultimately these bizarre creatures that are barely recognizable. Um, and then on the right here, we have the end of year, which is a signature work by the artist. And you see that there are two boars being sacrificed on the precipice of the new year. And it points to this phenomenon of this mass, almost pilgrimage of people leaving the cities, going back to their villages to celebrate the Chinese New Year, to be with their family. And often it's the only time all year that the families are brought together. And it points to this notion that ritual brings people together and that the sacrifice on the precipice of the new year will bring good luck. So here we are in the heart of the exhibition, in the middle of the gallery. And behind you, we see the exterior of the scroll room, the village and its ghost coming to its frenetic end. Um, and here on my right is a suite of experimental sculptures that Yun Fei Ji created as part of a residency that the Wellens supported at Didene, which is a papermaking workshop in New York. And you can see he's transitioned a lot of his characters and elements that appear in his scrolls into three dimensions. And so the heads and the bodies and the arms are becoming very dimensional and very dense. Um, and the theme of this work is actually very similar to the themes that um, were prevalent on the scrolls on the interior of the room, this idea of transitioning from life into death. And so the volumetric aspect of the body begins to melt into the landscape, and the systems of the earth and of the body begin to combine. And over here on one of the gates that I designed to mimic a kind of Chinese landscape, um, we have Columbus Park. And Columbus Park is in New York City, and so there are hallmarks of aspects of, of parks that you would see in New York City, such as the chain link fence and um, uh, the contemporary figures. However, the landscape really has this feeling of being out of a typical Chinese landscape painting. And so we're cued into the fact that there's a kind of shared history and shared culture and that they're having this type of hybrid experience as they come from China and relocate to New York. This suite of scrolls was created by the artist for this exhibition, and they were inspired by the Tibetan Book of the Dead, which is a kind of manual that outlines the transition from life through death into the afterlife. Unlike Yun Fei's narrative scrolls, um, these particular works have an expressionistic and impressionistic and a kind of isolated feel to them. As one looks around, you see these kind of vignettes and these moments of figures and skeletons and ghosts interacting. The exhibition ends with a series of important institutional and private loans, among them Ghost Market, um, from the Norton Museum. And this particular piece brings together so many important elements of Yun Fei's work that deal with this aspect of displacement. And so we have the party boss, who's this kind of ever-present thug in his work. We have the moving truck, which is a symbol of migration and mass displacement. And the, the itinerant vendor who comes from the country to the city in hopes of making a living and sh is selling all manner of cheap goods. And all of the works that are in the exhibition 
particularly the piece behind you, which is called Nine Women, have a very unique perspective on the tradition of Chinese scroll painting. And what Yanfei is really doing is, is appropriating this tradition um, and using it as a conceptual practice to address what is relevant today. Um, all of the works will be included in a major monographic publication um, addressing the symbolism and themes and subjects of Yanfei's work.